Hey everybody, it's Lou. Welcome back to another episode of LMTV and Off Grid Adventures. Well, I stayed at the shop and then decided to go ahead and wire up the Halo View Quad Cam wireless system. Now I know I said I wired it up, and just so I can be clear with everyone, you just wire a positive and a negative to get power to the monitor and to the camera out back. Everything else works off of a Wi-Fi signal or Bluetooth. I believe it's one of the others. But anyhow, with that being said, great little system for the money. I picked that up off of our famous auction site for about 150 bucks. It comes with the monitor, all the hardware, all the mounting brackets, and one camera. And then I went ahead and picked up three others already. Just haven't gotten those wired in yet. Now, you go ahead, you turn the power on, and you select through. And as you can see, this is the quad cam mode. That's what I'll have it in 90% of the time. And we'll have it corresponding clockwise uh, so I know exactly what camera I'm looking at and what side of the truck. Now, what I like about this is you, you select through. There's camera number one. That's about 25 feet from where I am right now, all the way to the back of the truck. It is scanning through, looking for the other cameras. But again, I can just select through, hit the camera, and it will stop the scan automatically on that one there. It's still in scan mode, and I'll take that out later on. But really nice system. It does have sound to the cameras, so you can hear what's going on back there as well. There's a little speaker right here, so I can hear what's going on. And uh, again, very pleased. I uh, was turned on to this by another YouTuber. His name's Justin Incredible. I don't know Justin personally. I do watch his videos. Seems like a super nice guy. Uh, so check out his videos too. Again, and, uh, I, I can't say thanks enough to him for turning me on to this in his video. Very, very happy with it. Now, the other thing I picked up at uh, AutoZone the other day was these little fiber optic uh, lights. They do turn red. They're completely flexible, as you can see, I'm bending them. And I'm going to ask for some help from my viewers where you would suggest these inside the cab here. I'm thinking in the back for the rear passengers because they already have the uh, map lights to use to read in normal lighting conditions. But if I'm driving and I've got people sitting behind me, obviously I don't want to have a big glare on these huge front windshields. So thinking of these in the back. But give me your, your, your thoughts and comments on where you think you might use these. Because, you know, we have the ones up front with the map lights that turn blue, and those are perfect for us up front. But, again, I'd like to hear what you have to say. Now, the other thing I did tonight on the truck before I left was I installed this here. This is a 100-amp um, uh, circuit breaker for a, a vehicle. I wired this completely into the electrical system here. So now I have two areas of safety on the truck for the electrical. Up in the box here, I've got two uh, fuses that are automotive rated. They're both 30 amp fuses. And then I've got this 100 amp breaker. And the reason I did this is people are probably saying, why do you have so much amperage of a breaker? It's just to protect the system. These trucks, you don't want to have a back feed into the circuit panel and fry something and you're stuck. So, you know, we've got enough fuses and relays in here now that I feel pretty confident and safe that we'll never have a problem. And on any of the builds that I make for people, this will be something if they do have us do the console, we will make sure you have all these uh, systems in place to keep everything safe and working properly for you. But I can actually just hit this. I've shut off the power completely to the truck now. As you can see, there's no switch panels on. The monitor went out. And then I just come back in. I flip this little breaker back into place. We have power, cameras come back up, everything's working just fine. So again, a little bit of safety into the truck and it's working perfectly. So again, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Hit the like button, thumbs up, thumbs down. I do appreciate all the comments I'm getting from you guys. Thank you. Uh, it really means a lot. If there's anything I can do to help anyone on a build that they're doing or looking to have us maybe build a truck for them, shoot me a message. I'll send you our email address. It is in a couple of the other videos. I will also go ahead and give you a contact number here at the shop if there's anything I can do to help you out or if you're looking to have us build you a truck. Again, feel free to get a hold of me and hopefully we can do something for you. Have a great evening, everyone. I am heading home now at this time to go see my family. I hope everyone has a wonderful evening and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.